Hey everybody, this is Jed Toffer with White House Custom Color, and today we're going to talk about our templates. We're going to use a card template in particular. First off, if you want to use our templates or get access to our templates, go to whcc.com, scroll down to the bottom of the page. You'll notice there's a resources section, and under resources it says templates and downloads. You can click on templates and downloads, and then there's sizing templates that you can download all of them if you want to. It's a big file, so be ready for that. Or you can download anything individually based on the product itself. So you can peruse that at whcc.com, go down to resources, and then templates and downloads to grab those. What I have here in Photoshop are a couple of our card templates. I have the 5x7 flat, and I have a 5x7 folded template that we're going to use to go over in this demo. So right away, you'll see that there are a few different layers. Um, the very top layer has some information on it. We have bleed, trim, safe line, and adding a border. They all mean slightly different things. The first thing you'll notice with a 5x7 template is that it's actually sized to 5.25 by 7.25. That's an extra quarter. Um, on, the, on, the, on the width and the height. And the reason for that is, is because an eighth of an inch, totaling a quarter, gets cut off around all four sides of a flat card. So there's an extra quarter um, in the dimensions. So right away, that's why bleed exists, is because we want the image to bleed off the sides. So if it's a background or, or whatever you have, you want it to go all the way to the edge, even though that gets cut off. That's denoted by the gray area in the template. That gray area will not be on the final card. The trim line comes in an eighth of an inch all the way around, and that's just denoted by trim. And then the safe line comes in an extra eighth. And we basically just want to keep all important content within that area, mostly text. But even like something within the image, just know that as it's going out to that safe line, that you're getting closer and closer to that trim line. So we come in about an extra eighth of an inch all the way around to give you an extra space. Now borders are that much more important to keep in mind. If you're adding a border, we'd really like you to keep it in another eighth of an inch. So essentially, um, a quarter of an inch in from the edge of the card or the trim line, you want to make sure that your border doesn't extend out further than that because it can start to look uh, a little bit off if it's getting too close to those edges. So adding a border is, is important to keep in mind as well. And, and it basically means anything within that line that we have. You can see in the template itself, there are guides that are over on top of this really thin line. Um, so we have guides brought into the border line. Now, a big question that people have is about centering, like where's the center point? Well, you can quickly create a center point on a flat card by going up to View, Guides, New Guide, and you'll notice that you can create a vertical guide. The position defaults to zero inches, right? But what I can do is type 50%, and as soon as I hit OK, it's going to give me a vertical guide on my template directly in the middle. Now I can do the same thing for horizontal guide if I go to view, guides, new guide, and then instead of vertical I, I click horizontal and do the same thing, 50%, and that's going to give me a horizontal guide right in the middle, and so that intersection then is the center point of that card. Now that's for flat cards. For folded cards, I have one of these brought up because it changes a little bit. Since it's folded, meaning there is no side on this left side for a front file on the left side, nothing gets trimmed off of that because that's the fold of the card. So you'll notice that the trim, the trim section and the bleed section on a, a folded card is only on three sides, the top, the right, and the bottom for a front. For the back, it's the top, in the bottom and the left. So with using this front file as an example, I can do the same thing if I want to find my center point, right? I'll go up to View, Guides, New Guide, and then let's start with vertical again. I'm going to do 50%, okay? 
that's going to put right in the middle of my file a vertical guide. But there's a problem with that. That's not going to be my vertical center because the right side's getting trimmed and the left side isn't. Well, the right side's getting trimmed an eighth of an inch. So I need to move that guide to the left a sixteenth of an inch and split that difference, which is going to be right then in the center vertically. Horizontally, I can still do, still do view, guide, new guide, go to horizontal, 50%. The horizontal is not going to change in this case because horizontally I am having something trimmed off the top and the bottom. So that is now my center point with that vertical guide in this case moved just to the left a sixteenth of an inch to account for the trim on the right side and no trim on the left side. So this is my center point here on this image in a folded example.